Hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing. Because they said we're going to get right into it. You know your story. Leave it where it be if it's not for you, okay? Thank you guys for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, and all of this stuff. You guys are greatly appreciated. Let's go on and tap into this message and see what spirit has for you guys today. What's the message, Spirit? What's the message for the collective? What's the message for the collective? Give us some new information, please, and thank you. Give us some new information that the collective needs to know, please, and thank you. What's the new information? Ooh, okay. Look at it. The wealthy man is in despair. Somebody's concerned about their wealth. The wealthy man is in despair. They're being left out in the cold. The wealthy man was supposed to cause you some type of despair to have you in poverty. Or uh, they were trying to confuse you, play some illusion on, over you. Yeah, because they thought they were going to bring you back into like a low vibrational cycle with them. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, now somebody's concerned that you've changed here. Yeah, you changed your expectations or somebody's concerned because they were expecting for this young woman to, to change. But this young woman's expectations have changed of this with the man. And somebody's concerned here. Yeah, because, oh... Somebody's concerned about some some work that they done. Somebody's under judgment. It could be a whole group under judgment. Somebody's concerned about a decision they made in the house too. Somebody's concerned about their stability. Okay, what I'm saying for somebody, somebody, uh, like two years ago, somebody could have traveled towards somebody, but for the last two years, you've been like trapped or blocked. Somebody's been trying to trap or block you. I'm seeing like uh, for somebody, the decision somebody made in this house or in this group, they thought somebody, they were expecting like a big change for this this main female. Like they wanted somebody to stop healing or stop healing somebody's. They wanted you to stop your healing journey or slow down or something. Somebody tried to slow you down. I'm seeing like. Somebody either is hiding something in a crawl space in their house. Something's hidden, like in a crawl space in somebody's house. Or somebody, I don't know if somebody did something to you like four different times, but every time that they were expecting you to change or end or stop or walk away from something, you did the opposite. So somebody had to keep doing like work on you or something. That's what I'm getting. You mastered something when you changed. But I'm getting like somebody also could have like been doing freezer spells. Somebody got like a whole bunch of lemons and like a deep freezer or a freezer like in their basement or some shit. And then for somebody else, or, I mean like this could be like the same. Somebody just keep doing work on you trying to stop and block you, but it's not working. I'm seeing like somebody did like some type of graveyard work. Oh, All Hallows Eve when the veil was thin. Yeah, because somebody was trying to trap you in a, a grave. They could have used graveyard dirt or buried you in a grave or something like that. But I'm, I'm hearing like the groundskeeper is upset. Yeah, 
and then they could have sent this man that's supposed to be your soulmate to cause you some type of despair here. So you would walk away from, from like an inheritance. Yeah, because judgment went in somebody's favor, but somebody sent this wealthy man or this man that you look up to, you hold this man to a high standards or on a pedestal or something like that. And this man thought that they could come in and cause you some type of despair to hook you back into a cycle because they feel like you left them you moved on or something. I don't know. They don't have control anymore. Yeah, they would like expect them to play some type of illusion spell or confusion spell over you to trap you back into some type of cycle. I'm getting like, um, like on All Hallows Eve, somebody could have conjured up a deity that resides in the graveyard. And they try to like trick you into getting you stuck back in this darkness or this graveyard energy, low vibrational energy. Yeah, somebody was not expected for you to escape this house or move forward or whatever. I don't know, but somebody was doing a lot. Like somebody buried something in the crawl space. They could have buried something in their basement or they got like a freezer in their basement or a fridge or some shit like that. Or somebody got a lot of people in the fridge or somebody tried to freeze you out or some shit. Do a freezer spell to stop you from moving forward. Yeah, to slow you down and freeze you like in a certain time. Like this person was supposed to like even like call you or message you and be like, you remember that time when um, you know, I had you hanging off the bed or something like that. Something you know, like like they were supposed to like hit hit a place in your heart where you would be like soft and open to uh, and allow this person in, but they were just going to come in and trap you though. Make you one of their victims. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, but collective, you done, like I said, I mean, it's been a long thing without you. Mm -hmm. Some, somebody thought they were going to see you again. I don't know, but somebody had you on a long-ass journey. It's been a long, hard-ass journey. This person could be, that could be the reason of you going through, like, a lot of blockages and hurdles on your journey. Yeah, because they were trying to stop you. And they could have, they could be, they could, something about when you were 35, this person could have traveled towards you. Or they could be 35, take it how it resonates. They traveled towards you. Yeah, to try to, I'm getting like, do some magic on you, give you. Like an attachment or some shit. Try to attach something to like your sacral chakra, your solar plexus chakra, and your root chakra. Yeah, in the past. Yeah, to stop you from moving forward or leaving them. Take it how it resonates. This wealthy man here. Yeah, they were trying to attach some type of love spell or some type of attachment to you. To, so they could have like control or dominate you is what I'm getting. This is a lover that you could have walked away from and moved forward. From, I mean, like, you could also be healing, and you're about to get a gift from the ethos when it comes to your wealth. This person, okay, I'm also getting, like, yeah, because something changed, yeah. Yeah, because somebody got a message about your contract. That's what I was about to say, like, somebody's wealth, somebody's wealth contract in the ethers have been blocked. But this wealthy man that could be a lover or that was attached to your wealth in the ethers, they noticed something changed. They got that message about your contract. You got a new contract. They thought they were like going to attach something to you and come into like this new world with you is what I'm getting. Yeah, now this family feel vulnerable. They was telling this person to hold on tight. Yeah, I mean, it's, they could have been working with your family. You could have kids with this person. I don't know, but this family is real childish. This family, I don't know. It's like some family trauma that this person thought that they would be able to attach a cord to something that happened to you in your past. Yeah, somebody could have met up and they're like, you done messed it up for everybody. Somebody said to somebody, you done messed it up for everybody. Because they under judgment. I'm hearing 
the life, life of the day and the reckoning, or the day of the reckoning. Take it how it works. Like somebody's under judgment. They already been under judgment. Yeah, they been under judgment. Somebody's been under judgment. They got that message. Yeah, somebody thought that they were going to play off like an old wound. Yeah, like some family trauma or some shit. Somebody was just holding on way too tight to you, trying to control you too quickly. Yeah, whoever the puppet master is. The puppet master's under judgment. Somebody could smoke cigars or cigarettes or somebody, they met up and somebody could have been drinking and smoking. Yeah, this is, this is somebody that you were loyal to. Most definitely. Uh, this person's getting caught up in like a, in their dark web of lies. Yeah, somebody's heart under fire. Whose heart is under fire? Yeah, somebody's being real stubborn. Trying to bind to you. We got bind. Bind you to a home. Somebody was stubborn. Yeah, somebody was trying to bind you to this house. Or, like I said, somebody could have buried you under some certain house. I don't know. We got home. Somebody's stubborn. They don't want to listen. Some, like I said, they could have belonged to this family or this group, but they like, this family could be arguing. Like, you just being stubborn and arrogant. You didn't want to listen. Like, this person felt like they had your, your heart. Yeah, they thought that you still had, like, some type of passion in your heart for them or something, and they would be able to basically make you their victim. But this family, they could be arguing and fighting or whatever. This family, this group, this organization, you hear me? Um, yeah, they were holding on real tight, but they like, you done messed it up for everybody. You done ruined it for everyone. So I'm like that collective. What? Are they trying to ruin it for everyone? Because somebody don't want you to love God neighbor, you hear me? Somebody don't want you to have like a community. They don't want you to have friends. They don't want you to have associates or nothing. Yeah. Look, they don't want you to move forward. Look, they don't want you to have no passion. They don't want you to explore and travel or none of that. You hear me? We got readiness. Yeah, look, so somebody was coming in. They were ready, preparing, you hear me? Yeah, but they can't move forward, though. They were ready, look, to try to come in and blindside you, unbeknownst to you. This could have been an awkward uh, encounter if this person, like, called you or wanted to talk to you or whatever. They wanted you to have vision problems. They thought that you, that they had cloaked themselves. They thought that, like, they had tricked you to thinking that, you know, that they were going to hold their promise and be with you and do the right thing this time and... You know, be the stand-up guy. Yeah, that they were going to promise to get on this journey with you and do the right thing, I guess. Yeah. Look, to cause a challenge or a blockage here to your good news. You hear me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You persevere here and that's good news. Yeah, look. I'm telling you, somebody try to... Somebody try to do like a... a, a they try to trap you in like the graveyard is what I'm getting. Yeah. But now somebody wants to apologize. Somebody may confess. They feel guilty. They want your forgiveness for trying to keep you trapped or cause you a lot of endings and delays and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody feels like a failure here. Yeah. Somebody know they failed and trying to keep you trapped or do this unaliving spell to keep you stuck in this graveyard. Somebody's like, this is a miracle. But somebody else is mad and somebody else is scared and somebody else just real proud because they thought they were going to gain some type of profit off of this around Halloween. Yeah. Now they stressed out because they ass know they're under judgment. They all getting karma. Yeah. This was a big investment here. They were invested in your wealth. Like I said, something about you unlocked your wealth. Yeah. So this family had assistance here to try to block your wealth. Or change the contract in the ethers when it comes to your wealth. Yeah, somebody surprised that you're sticking your blessings. You hear me? From the ethers.
and I thought they were going to gain merit or take your place or take your light. I don't know, honey, so they can get your blessings. And somebody's shocked and frustrated here. Yeah, because somebody was being real stubborn that they, they could rob you or take something from you or something like that or sneak back in and then rob you. You hear me? Whoever this arrogant-ass person is, this tyrant. Yeah, you got evidence here. Excuse me. <clears throat> you got proof? This group got proof. Mm-hmm. I told you, look. This person come out talking about, don't you remember the time? You remember when we first met? Yeah, and I was your alliance and you trusted me. Yeah, I was your enemy the whole time. Real flirtatious. This person's real flirtatious. They could have had you in a third-party situation. They most definitely was working with a third party, which could have been the, your family or a group that they were. Um, and I heard your ex. So they working with your ex. They collab behind your back so they can collect something off of you. Yeah, somebody come around and thought it was going to be a good plan here to play mind games with you. Yeah, play with your imagination and woo woo wah wah. You know all that old, you remember the time type energy. So you would trust this person. Yeah, y'all would form some type of alliance or get back together or whatever. And they would, you know, backstab your ass again. And they would collect off of you or your energy. Yeah. Yeah, they could have scheduled something here, planning something. They thought they were going to overindulge and bring them some type of joy, peace. They thought they were going to be our friend and you y'all would be our kiki, ha ha. And y'all would have some type of harmony, acceptance of each other. Yeah, but somebody know that you're stable. You okay. And you done accepted the past and you done moved the hell on and you actually healed. Yeah, you looking good by your damn self, you hear me? And this person know they done lost. Yeah. They thought they were going to be creative here to partner up with friends or this team or this network or whatever here to try to cause you some type of loss to your stability. Yeah, somebody could have bribed somebody or paid somebody here to try to caution you or to endanger you or, uh, you know, to cause you some type of accident here so you would stop. Yeah, somebody can pay somebody to injure you so you will lose on whatever it is that you're creating here. You could have been creating some type of friendship. A friendship could have been growing. Yeah, somebody most definitely came in and was like, uh, we got to stop that stability. She too happy and okay. She got to experience some type of loss. So here they go. They pay somebody to come in and try to injure you to slow you down. Yeah. Yeah, now somebody. So somebody agreed here to try to cause some type of fatality to a fortune teller. Yeah, but a fake event has happened here. Somebody wants you to compromise. They feel like it's fate that you guys are supposed to be together. They feel like you lonely. Or they even try to play off of that. You know, it's fate. We're supposed to be together. Let fate work it out or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. This person wants you to stay in isolation. Yeah, but somebody's disappointed here because... You could have learned that they were codependent on your energy here. Somebody was coached here to marry somebody or be in a relationship with somebody or to couple up with them so they could get some type of knowledge here about how you being so obedient. Yeah. And how you're so calm and how you meditate. Somebody's being guided to meditate more too here. Yeah. Your, uh, your ancestors trying to connect to you, teach you something, or they already taught you something, you hear me, about codependent people and friends. Yeah, so you could be like in hermit mode right now, but you get some type of peace and tranquility, something that's balancing out for you. Yeah, I'm getting also getting my um, reconciliation from a past higher ranking soulmate is coming in too.
-hmm. You could have like blocked some type of advance somebody was trying to make towards you. Yeah, to cause a blockage or stagnation here, to cause you some type of disturbance. So this high level soulmate that's coming in, yeah. Cause somebody know that you got good luck and fortune on your side. You was gonna get victory and success anyway. Yeah, so somebody could have did some conflict magic here to mess with your peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, they did some type of control, domination, magic, trying to control your talent to make you feel inadequate and overworked. Yeah, so somebody tried to do a hex or a curse here. They sent them evil errors to you to block you. Yeah, I'd like to have you block have a misfortune. Somebody worked hard here, but uh, like to keep you in a, a graveyard. So somebody did some conflict magic because they were mad. Because okay, whatever conflict magic somebody did here, they seen you still overcame it. You got inner peace. So here they come with this domineering magic, with this puppeteer energy. Yeah, that uh thought they were real talented. An expert, very much so experienced here. Yeah, but it done came to somebody's attention that this person is inadequate here. Somebody, you could even protest this person or sue this person. I don't know. But this professional had like a lot of minions behind them working hard to make you feel inadequate and to block you and have you overworked. Somebody wants you to feel overwhelmed. That was the purpose. Yeah, to, so you would have a misfortune, like so you would walk away. Yeah, but this collaboration, this collaboration here was supposed to be the backup to break you or make you withdraw from healing or uh, being independent. I don't know. They thought that they could break you easily because you're independent. I don't know. Somebody wanted to break your independence, so they tried to do a hex or a curse. Yeah, so you like, you you went on on your, like I said, you could have left these people or this person, whatever, behind. You went on, you're independent and free. And you learn how to take care of yourself. Somebody wants you to be codependent on them. Yeah. <clears throat> To try to cause some type of disturbance. Somebody wants you to feel like you needed them or some shit. So they can cause a stagnation here to you super la supernaturally. And they would get some type of um, fortune. Yeah. And they would calmly wait and patiently. Somebody even like. Yeah, somebody was meditating on your energy. Trying to attach themselves to you on the 29th. I'm seeing two two and then a seventy nine. I mean seventy two right here. That's nine. So that's two twenty nine. Yeah, the eleven eleven portal was open. Somebody was trying to try to attach themselves to your to your wealth, but they were met at the door by conflict. You hear me? Yeah. Somebody's been watching your wealth. And this don't even have to be just money. This could be even like your wealth of knowledge. Your wealth of, you know, whatever. They've been watching you. Somebody knows you're growing and elevating. And they trying to, they've been trying to stop and block you. And every time they do something, it's like you still persevere. And they're running out of like what to do next. So somebody's sitting around watching you, studying you. It could be like some higher, it's done came to some higher ups in some type of group about who you are. Yeah, somebody plays in your dream state a lot, too. But you got sweet dreams. You're satisfied. You're comfortable. You hear me? Somebody trying to make you be lazy. Yeah, somebody did uh, some magic or did some type of ceremony while you were asleep. Or somebody did some type of conflict magic. Somebody wanted you to eat something. Somebody tried to make you eat something. I don't know if somebody seen you out in a grocery store. Yeah, somebody's been doing all this just to bring conflict to your soul, your soulmate, your soul connection. You hear me? Your your soul in general. You hear me? They just want you to be conflicted, confused. Somebody could be fighting with these demons now. Somebody's fighting for their soul. Somebody sold their soul.
Yeah, we got self-love, eternal love. Somebody need to learn how to love themselves eternally. We got soulmate, eternal love, self-love, independent, self-healing. You heal from some type of illusion that this soulmate had you under. You broke something. Yeah, because you learned about some magic or ritual that this soulmate was trying to do. They thought they had a good idea here because you got because you got victory and success. Yeah, you could have said, aha, oh, that's the MF for this, um, putting this magic on me. This caused me blockages to my money or whatever. Yeah, this was an altar worker. This person took a vow, yeah, to get victory over you. So, yeah, this person was somebody that was supposed to support you. You could have kids with this person, but that shit was fake. They were laughing at you, gossiping about you, trying to embarrass you the whole time. Because they done took an oath or a vow here, hoping and wishing for the goal. Victory and success over you or the situation here. You hear me? But somebody, yeah. Somebody was praying for you to have nightmares and be stuck in the dark. And be held back. Binded here. Was trying, somebody was trying to bind a sweetheart to nightmares have you suffering in the dark like i said they prayed they did some, they did some type of ritual to have you 